How's it going today, guys? Um, in this video, I'll be showing you how to install the Briley 3-gun M-Lock handguard for the Benelli M4. And I also have these washers or springs from Freedom Fighter Tactical that Briley recommends to uh, be installed with their M-Lock to reduce the shake or wiggle or any type of movement that you have with it. Uh, I also have these um, ring plier chain lock. Uh, chain lock's the brand, but they're called ring pliers or uh, retention ring pliers, something along that line. Um, I got these for taking off this uh, this QD uh, sling attachment because it doesn't allow for that. So if you take a look at that there, obviously there's no space for it, which is okay. Um, I'll be able to mount a new option. So I'll just mention a few things um, before we get into it. Um, like I said, these washers or springs um, Briley recommended to be installed with this handguard to reduce the shake. So we have that open top one. We have a flat one, actually two flat ones. And then we have this kind of wavy potato chip looking one. Um, Freedom Fighter Tactical was the only place I could find them without really looking deep into getting them, so they make some. Um, here are the part numbers. They're called M1 or M2. Let's see if I can get that to focus. There it is. M1 or M2 uh, foreign washers from Freedom Fighter Tactical. It's a 799, 7100, and 7101. So they make them. Uh, they were about $80, $70 with shipping. Um, so I wanted to get that to make sure that's nice and secure. Now these chain locks, if you are looking for some, um, I just got these off Amazon. This is the eight inch, eight inch version. It is pretty big, but um, it has a wider span um, to be able to open rings. Um, so that's that. And yep, yeah, goes both ways with the switch. So chain locks makes good stuff. This is the 927 eight inch. Like I said, um, if I were to get it again, I don't know, they just seem pretty big. I might go with the six inch instead, but you can get them on Amazon about 20, 30 bucks, something like that. Um, and the thing I like about this too is it also comes with different bits in there. So that's pretty nice, but not going to get into that too much. Um, here's a closer look at the handguard. Uh, it has some screws on the sides um, holding this piece in kind of the where the where it butts up against the receiver. And then also the, I don't even know what you want to call this, kind of that retaining ring or nut uh, that clamps the forend. So... Here's this side. Um, do notice there is nothing, uh, no slots here, which is fine. Uh, this does have a bit of a ridge, um, so it isn't completely flat. Um, here's the bottom. Like I said, that, that part isn't open where um, it would be right right in here. So that part's not available, is at least what I think it is. Uh, here's the other side. Again, same thing. Have the back. So this, this piece right here will go into the receiver like my other, and I'll show you a close-up of that as well. But the piece that that clamps onto is in the middle, and also have one for the back. Um, I'll get into this um, while I'm here now. So why I wanted to go with this, obviously, I like M-Lock a lot better than this type of Picatinny uh, mounting option. Um, the main reason I wanted to get my light um, out farther. So if you can see there, it goes to about here. I'll be able to mount a light, get it out farther. Um, that was the main reason, pretty much the only reason why I want ended up going with this, but there's another reason. So you can do barrel clamps. The thing with barrel clamp is anytime I go to clean this or take this off, if I need to take this off anytime I need to, uh, I have to remove my light and my barrel clamp. I don't really like doing that because I'm going to be using Loctite on the screw. Um, so I don't want to have to be redoing Loctite and stuff like that um, and having to take it off every time I clean it. But uh, another reason, um, when I'm mounting my grip, um, I'm going to put a grip on here. So I'm, when I'm mounting the grip, it'll keep it closer to the gun rather than if I was using a Picatinny rail section, it would bump it off about maybe another quarter inch or so. So that'll keep it tighter to the gun. Uh, sling mount will be tighter to the gun. Uh, match shaver, which Briley, they also make a match shaver, m -lock match shaver. That'll be a little bit tighter to the gun. Um, but this is expensive. It costs about, sorry, costs about uh, $320, I believe, um, without tax and shipping. I don't know if, I don't remember if they charge tax, but yep, so... Let's see here, 335. So 335 um, in total for this, but um, I'm hoping it works out well. So I think it'll be worth it, just the, the mounting options. The only downside to this, rather than the T Pro model handguard that Benelli made, um, this top is open. So I guess if you wanted to C clamp up there um, with your hand, um, it might 
I mean, this might, I'm not sure yet, it might stick over, but it is a little bit exposed. I think it'll stick over the barrel, so I guess you wouldn't really get burnt anyways, but this is exposed. This is actually really light uh, compared to this. I think this is, it'll probably be about the same weight. If not, maybe this might be a little more, but this is very light. So it looks, it looks heavy, but it's really light. I believe it's aluminum. So, um, yeah, this is, it's pretty nice, but all right. So I'm going to pull my charging handle back, make sure it locks to the rear. I'm going to unscrew my retaining nut or this uh mag tube sorry i'm a bit tired and getting getting there so i'm gonna take this uh mag or the the tube retaining nut off go ahead and slide slide this off slide my barrel with it over here and i'll go ahead and compare these two real quick so if you see the handguard, they make their own sections for it. But the springs right here that they integrated into the handguard, this is what smashes it back towards the receiver and uh, allows it, those springs right there, allow it not to shake. So that is why I had to go ahead and get these springs to kind of make up for that. But um, that is, that's the length difference. So this handguard is a little bit over 13 inches, which is good for or a, a pro for what I'm trying to use it for, get that light out farther. It's at 13 inches, but the longer I get, the better. So that, let's see if I can show you. That's, um, I mean, five inches, probably. I'm guessing this is an eight inch handguard. Um, so that's that's a good plus, but um, that is why I need those washers. So next thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go ahead and take take these right here. And if you want, you can, you could probably make it happen with something else. Just taking a, taking a screwdriver, sticking it in that little slot right there and then prying it. You could probably do that. But, uh, these come in handy because there's, there's one right there and then there's one here and then there's also one in the, the trigger group. So, uh, these make it a lot easier. But I'll just stick those in there in those two little holes. Good pried apart. Make this thing is tight. There we go. So kind of just popped off or I was able to. I guess don't try and slide it out, just pull it up. So that's that spring that was holding this in there. Just one thing about not using this, this thing shook or just um, kind of bounced around while holding it. So it will be a little bit quieter without this. Let me go ahead and set that stuff over here, even though that is really nice for a upgrade. So this is the part where the springs will come in. This will be your bottom, which will go in first. So that'll just kind of drop in there. You'll have your wavy, this wavy potato chip one next. And then this open one right here. This last one's kind of tricky to get in there. Um, I'll take these out so you can see, but there's notches in both sides for this, for this spring, which is I'm glad they made it that way, but pretty much that'll hold the springs in there. So I'll put that in there and then I kind of have to push down I have to push down, get it in just right, and then slide, slide my my spring in there to get this notch, this other notch down inside here, which I'll have to do off camera. But that's what you want to do: push that in to get it to slide in. You can see that half that cutout part is right underneath there, and that sits in there very nicely. You just want to make sure that both of the tabs get right where the cutouts are. So they're, they're both seated in there and uh, they're not coming out. So it's nice and tight. It is going to push right up against that piece there. So I'm going to slide this through and then so it'll be like that. Maybe depressed a little farther. I'm going to take it. I'm going to slide it through the barrel. Or the, I'm going to take it and slide it through. I'm going to take it and slide it through my mag tube. That 
is a tight fit, goodness gracious. <coughs> so, upon further review, there were some things I noticed. Um, one thing with it being that this top side, if you can see that, that actually bends. Um, so, it is super lightweight, but I guess at the cost, um, you are losing that extreme durability like with this and now that's why I'm guessing that they made that solid so it's a solid piece I mean that's that's a really solid and durable piece now are you ever going to need something I mean this could flex out a little bit but uh, is this durability too much uh, for what the average person is using probably is this too little might be a little too little I don't like how that's flexing but trying to get this seated in here you really have to make sure it's uh it's actually seated so this I'll show you on this, this bottom part that seats into this coupling right there or whatever that is where you put the rings and washers in, you have to make sure that that is seated in that groove so you can actually get it to push back. And upon further review, I actually took one of these out because at least on this model, and I saw it on somebody else's model, your barrel will not go flush no matter how hard I was pushing, I even took a two by four, pinned the stock to the ground and pushed as hard as I could with this um, to try and get it to push back. But with that extra spring in there, I'm not sure if this is an extra or what Freedom Fighter Tactical recommends you use it. Maybe it's on those models. Um, Briley doesn't say anything about needing two of these. It just says you need one of them, which is the 7100. So this 7100 then they send two for this model you only need one because it wasn't allowing my barrel to go flush i still had an eighth to a sixteenth of an inch exposed right there um now that is flush i don't I, I mean i might be able to if i put some more weight on there i might be able to get a little more but that is flush so <clears throat> i did take this out i'm not going to use it there's no there's no rattle in the handguard which is good but this flexing a little bit does concern me now in here in the middle there's none of that because it's secured by that nut so there's none of it really i'd say there's none of it well i guess it flexes on that side a little there's there's none of it i'd say till maybe here yeah so maybe this this second piece over that's when you get a little bit of flex now i don't think you'll notice it with with shooting if you're um you know, have a light there. I don't think it'll really be moving much, but maybe if it gets smashed against, it could get dented. That's all I would say uh, could happen with it. But <clears throat> I think for getting your light out farther, I think it's still worth it. <clears throat> and uh, yeah, I think it's still worth it. But yeah, there's nothing. Actually, there there is some at the top. I should say there's there's a little wiggle room at the top all around. But for the most part, it's not bad until it gets out. Until it gets out here, that's. That's really just when it's bad is when it's on the top. But um, due to that, um, I, I wasn't going to mount anything up here anyways. Uh, I don't really think it's that beneficial for a match shaver. I would put it there anyways. Uh, my grip will be down here. Uh, if I were to put a light, it was going to be there. But due to that flexing, I'm probably going to put it right here instead, which it doesn't matter if it's closer to here or to here. That doesn't matter. Um, and then for a sling mount, I'll probably put that down there just for durability. Just put that right there, which height won't matter either. Um, so, yeah, that's, I mean, overall, I don't think it's a huge deal. Um, it could maybe get dented in a little. Uh, I don't think even if it did get smashed in, it would matter too much unless it's rubbing against your barrel. But, yeah, so that was the installation of this. Um, you're still getting that five extra inches. So it's coming to here. I, I'll get a tape measure out, but I'd say that's about three inches. So. I'll get some measurements so you can see for lighting wise. Um, so it's pretty much what it looks like. It's the underneath. There is the side and the top. I think it's overall really nice for mounting. Um, if you have the money or want to spend the money, uh, it's going to help me a lot, but I'm, I will go ahead and give you some lengths. So, I guess, yeah, to the end, or the start of the receiver, we have 
we have about 13 and 3 eighths. So that's about 13 and 3 eighths. Um, if you want to go from the inside, that is 13 and 3 sixteenths. If you want to go to the closer. So it is a bit farther than 13 inches, which is fine. Um, we'll do some measurements from four mounting options, which is I couldn't find anywhere. And this could be really important to you if you're trying to find uh, how far your light can get or how close it can get to the end of the barrel. So this won't really matter much, but from the end of it, that's the 18 and a half inch barrel. So I'll just hold it right there and get it stuck. So from the end of it, we are, we are right at almost, let's see here, right just before a 16th before four and three quarter. So four and three quarter from the edge of this to the end of the barrel. Now from the start of the first M lock point, From the start of the first M lock point, or the end of it, I should say, the end of the first, that is right at five and a quarter from the start or the end, from right of that edge to the end. That's five and a quarter. Now, most, I'd say most realistic for mounting, you're usually going to have that mounting option, I'd say centered um, in there. So we'll go about uh, from about the center. I'd say that's about center right there. We are at five and seven eighths. So from the center of the M lock to the edge, five and seven eighths. I'll just do one more for the heck of it. From the end of the slot on the inside, right at six and a half. So uh, that was a big thing and, uh, you know, wanting to get out farther. And I didn't have those measurements. So me being able to tell you guys those measurements should be able to help you tr tremendously. Um, and and buying this if you want to buy it and whatnot. Overall, for what you're getting, um, I think it's worth it to uh, get this if you're really hesitant on the durability. Uh, maybe you want to go smash somebody over the face with this barrel or this hint foreign. Um, I think this bottom side would be fine, but this top could get dented. Um, but then again, um, the average citizen, I don't think is really going to be breaking this. Briley said that they attach slings to it and they also attach flashlights to it. So um, I think for what it's made for, I think it'll be plenty fine and there it shouldn't be a problem with it at all. But for what it's made for, I think I think it's worth it. Um, now, if you wanted to stay, stay with that standard 8 inch, that's completely fine. Um, but overall, I don't think I have anything more to say on it. So um, if you'd rather me do my opinions at the end of the video and just get right into the installation, let me know down in the comments. Um, I was going to do that this video, but uh, some things came up earlier that needed to be discussed, so I ended up not doing it. Um, I'm going, after I'm all finished with this, I'm going to add a flashlight, some grips and stuff to this. So once I'm all finished with it, I'll do an after video, and then you can see it all finished. So uh, if that uh, intrigues you, please leave a like, um, subscribing, and commenting is uh would be really helpful. So um, go ahead and comment down below. If you have any questions, I will do my best to answer them. Um, and I will keep putting out more content, not just on the Benelli. I have a lot of other videos um, that I'm doing. So make sure to stay tuned. And I uh, hope you guys have a good rest of your day. Thanks for watching.